The awareness of soil pH issues and the agricultural use of lime to fix low pH areas is a hot topic right now. I'll discuss lime and how to apply it in today's Iron Talk. Raising a low pH back up into the sixes has been a great return on investment on farms across the country. The other reason liming is on the rise is simply to build calcium levels in various soils regardless of pH. Whether it's to loosen up a tight, high magnesium clay soil or to balance out fertility levels in general, calcium, and especially lime, is in demand. Unfortunately, you need a lime spreader to get the job done unless you're going to use a pelletized lime. Now, the chain and paddle drive on a regular spinner spreader just won't be able to move a bulk ag lime product out. For most people, it may mean hiring someone to spread the lime. On our farm, we're using water treatment plant lime from a nearby city who had contracted with a professional to spread the lime for people. We're also hearing livestock manure spreaders with vertical beaters can be used if managed closely. No matter how you do it, though, accurately spreading the lime can be a big benefit in the right soils. You'll need grid or zone soil sampling to target the lime rates and applications to fit the areas of the field that'll benefit from it. Also, while you don't need tillage to get the lime worked in, tillage can speed up the impact that lime will have on your soil. If you're doing tillage, it doesn't have to be super deep, as most of the plant's root system will be in the top six inches of soil, and that's the area that you need to impact most commonly. For no-till guys, the key thing here is not to wait. Get the lime out there now so rainfall can move it into the soil and begin the reaction you're looking for. That's all for today's Iron Talk on Lime, and now, back to the show.